All too often we talk about large marine predators such as the Mosasaurus, the Predator X, the Megalodon and many more. But which animals actually ruled the rivers? One group in particular stands out. The Rhizodon Teeter, a subgroup of the Tetrapodomorpha. They appeared as early as the Devonian. Far earlier than the Phytosaurus or the Crocodiles. They were arguably some of the most fearsome creatures to inhabit the prehistoric rivers. And Rhizodus was not only the namesake of its group, but also the largest freshwater fish of all time. Rhizodus was a large, elongated fish that appeared in the Pennsylvanian stage of the Carboniferous and kept Earth's waters under his rule. Rhizodus was first discovered in Europe in the 19th century. The first fossils were found in Scotland in Upper Carboniferous sediments. Scottish paleontologist Richard Owen described these fossils in 1840 and gave the animal the name Rhizodus hiberti. The genus name Rhizodus means root tooth. It refers to the fish's long, slender fangs which resemble roots. The species name Hiberti honors the Scottish physician and naturalist John Hibbert who had provided Owen with the fossils. More fossils were then found in Russia. This species was then named Rhizodus sepocovensis, named after the time period Sepocovium. Further fossils were potentially found in North America. Most fossils of Rhizodus are teeth, scales and jaw fragments. A complete skeleton has not yet been found. The discovery of Rhizodus was an important milestone in the study of fish evolution. After all, Rhizodus was the largest freshwater fish of all time and therefore an important part of many freshwater ecosystems in the Pennsylvanian. Rhizodus had a long slender body with a large head and a wide mouth. It had two pairs of fins that helped it to move and hunt. This animal was an absolute giant and the largest freshwater fish we have found to date. Rhizodus was about 6 meters or 20 feet long and possibly grew up to 7 meters or 23 feet. The upper weight estimate is 1.5 metric tons, as heavy as great white sharks, but substantially heavier than any crocodile today. It possessed two 22 centimeters or 8.6 inch long fangs, which were about as long as the average teeth of an adult T-Rex. The remaining teeth were smaller and more conical and were suitable for crushing prey. Rhizodus was a member of the Osteolepiformis family, a major subgroup of the Tetrapodomorpha. This group also included other large freshwater fish, such as Eustinopteron, Pandarichthys and Hyneria. Taxonomically, Rhizodus belongs to the Rhizodon teeter, or more commonly known, the Rhizodonts. All group members of the Rhizodon teeter were equipped with jaws which were made of bones. The jaws of Rhizodon teeter were strong and robust and they were able to crush through bones. Rhizodon teeter had an elongated trunk. This made them fast and agile swimmers. They also possessed an elaborate lateral line system. The lateral line system is a sensory system that helps many fish and other aquatic animals such as sharks, seahorses and rays to detect movement and changes in the water. Furthermore, the resident teeter possessed enlarged pectoral fins. These were broad and allowed for rapid movement and prey capture. Rhizodus itself hunted a variety of prey, including medium-sized fish, tetrapods and perhaps even terrestrial animals that ventured too close to the water. Its killing mechanism was likely similar to that of a modern crocodile, as it had both a flexible spine and sliding jaws that allowed it to roll prey to death in its mouth. In doing so, it would dismember and crush its prey to the point where the remaining pieces were small enough to swallow whole and digest. This technique is also known as the death roll in modern crocodiles. Three arguments in favor of Rhizodus' use of the death roll are his crocodile-like body, his fangs and the effectiveness of this technique. Rhizodus hunted not only freshwater animals but also terrestrial animals. Especially in murkier waters he could camouflage himself even better and then strike. This speculation comes from trace fossils on the shore that suggest a big rhizodontid used its massive paddle-like fins to move around and pounce on prey on land as well. Sort of like what we saw with Aneria in Walking with Monsters. Rhizodus lived in the Upper Carboniferous from the Bashkirian stage to the Xelian stage. 
this corresponds to a period of 323.2 to 298.9 million years ago. Rhizodus habitat in the Upper Carboniferous was characterized by contiguous forests, swamps and bogs. At that time there was a lot of rain and abundant plant life. The climate was similar to today's Amazon, but had more rain and was slightly colder in average temperature. It is speculated that Rhizodus like to stay in murky waters, potentially under fallen trees, to camouflage himself and operate from the shadows, if his stomach growled. Fauna that lived alongside Rhizodus were small and medium sized lung and cartilaginous fish. The amphibian Crassigarinus may have also lived alongside Rhizodus in the water. On land lived the giant arthropod Arthropleura, early synapsids such as the Dephosaurus and their Captorhinidae, a group of sauropsid reptiles that moved on four legs. Rhizodus may have encountered or hunted some of these animals on the riverbanks. The air was the home of the giant Meganeura. Further outside the mainland, in the estuaries, Rhizodus might also have encountered the shark species Stenacanthus. Nevertheless, based on size and weight, it is noticeable that Rhizodus was the top predator and the top of the food chain of his region. Rhizodus himself was a living fossil, meaning that he was a species that changed very little over a long period of time. He was the last of his kind and reached the peak of evolution. However, he died out about 298.9 million years ago, probably at the mass extinction of the Carboniferous Permian boundary. This mass extinction drove about 24% of the animal species into extinction and thus also the big river monsters of the Carboniferous finally blessed the temporal. That was it for the video of the Rhizodus. I hope you could learn something new or interesting. For more content of Mega Raptor, you can subscribe, check the playlist and activate the bell to not miss out on anything. If you want to get to know me more, you can also check out Twitter or Instagram. Links in the description. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Mega Raptor out.